on my 17th birthday, I had my very first driving lesson. Wow, I never really sat in the driver's seat of a car before, let alone actually put my foot on the gas and move the car forward. But I was excited, I felt confident, I trusted my driving instructor and I trusted myself. And I was reminded of that experience this week because I was not in the driving seat this week. Nigel, that's my ego, he was in the driving seat. Um, I went totally into overwhelm by what I need to do in the next few months. Uh, so my training at the Authentic Speaker Academy for Leadership is coming to an end. And also my book is almost completed and the fear set in. And one thing I've noticed about Nigel is he loves overwhelm because when I'm overwhelmed, I then slip into procrastination and then I don't do anything. And Nigel loves that because he's soothed and he doesn't have to worry and panic about taking action. So I, I've been processing this over the last few days and the hugest, hugest thing for me is I realized yesterday that one of the reasons this felt so totally uncomfortable and different was because this is how I used to operate on a daily basis. This was me in overwhelm, flip-flopping between totally stressed out to procrastinating and doing nothing. And since March, starting my speaker training, all that has dissipated and it popped up this week. And I chose to embrace the principle, fear into power, that I've learned at the Authentic Speaker Academy for Leadership. Um, I stepped into my power and I let go of the fear and I took action. And it's amazing how soothing that was for me, not Nigel, but for me, uh, when I took action. Um, so I phoned some people about uh, presenting my presentation to them and I worked a little bit more on my book and I was refusing to quit. So I wonder how in your life you can step into power out of fear and maybe you have a Nigel that you want to soothe and quieten so that you can feel even more confident and re really assured of your capabilities. My name is Annabelle Fisher and I would love to hear your comments or read them below if you would care to share.